Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to see about Google Jamboard. The Google Jamboard. The Google Jamboard is a digital interactive whiteboard developed by Google to make use of Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suite. It was launched in the year 2016 on October 25th. It has a 55 inch 4K touch display and can be used for online collaboration using Google Workshop. The Google Jamboard is a free app and platform which is used to the uh, mobiles, tablets and even web browsers. And let's see how to open the Google Jamboard. In order to open the Google Jamboard, you need a web browser. I'm taking Google Chrome as web browser. I'm just clicking upon Google Chrome. And selecting an account. And I just want to open a new account uh, in order to open a sorry. Uh, I just want to open the Jamboard. In order to open the Jamboard, uh, this is the Google layout. You can see four options in the top right corner over here Gmail, Images, Google Apps, and Account. And account. Uh, go to the Google Apps, this is the th third option, and click over it. Now you can see the more Google Apps over here. For example, uh, Google Search, Google Maps, YouTube, Play, News, Gmail, Me, Chat, Contacts, Drive, Calendar, Contacts, Drive, Calculate, uh, Calendar, Translator, Google Photos, Google Duo, Gmail, Meet, Chat, Shopping, and this is the Google based software, such as Google Finance, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Sites, Google Books, Bloggers, Google Hangouts, Email, Jamboard, Classroom, Earth, Collections, Art and Culture, Google Ads, Podcast, Google One, Travel, Forms. And you can see the option more from Google. If you, if you click over it, and these are the more from Google Apps. And if you scroll down, you can see Google products. And these are the Google products which are available in Google Chrome. And for example, Google Auto, Google Android OS, Android TV, Calendar, Camboard, Car Cardboard, Chrome, Chrome Enterprises, Chromebook, uh, Comcast, Connected to Home, Contacts. Docs, Drawings, Drive, Earth, Exposure Notification, Finance, Forms, Gboard, Gmail, Google Alerts, Google Art and Culture, Google Assistance, Google Cast, Google Chat, Google Classroom, Google Cloud Print, Google Duo, Google Expect. Expeditions, Google Express, Google Google Fit, Google Fit, Google Flight, Google Fonts, Google Groups, Google Input Tools, Google Meet, Google One, Google Pay, Google Photos, Google Play, Google Book, Google Play Books, Google uh, Google Play Game, Google Play Movies and TV. Google Shopping, Google Store, Google Street View, Google TV, Google Wi-Fi, 
Google Hangouts, uh, Google Keep, Google Maps, Messages, News, Pixels, Play Protect, Podcasts, Scholar, Search, Sheets, Sites, Slides, Tilt Fresh, Translate, Travel, Voice, Waze, Wear OS by Google, uh, YouTube, YouTube Kids, YouTube Music, and YouTube TV. And these are the apps which are provided by Google. And there are more options which is known as Google for Business for Developers. You click over it, you can see more options for Google, Google Business. And for Google Developers, you can see more options. Which are the, these options? These are all options which are sorted out for business and developers for two. And coming back to the topic, just close this and go to the Google Apps and click upon the Jamboard, which is the third row and third column in the Google Play software. If you click over it. And this is the basic output of the Google Jamboard. Here you can see many options, many options which are available. You can see about this three line dots. It's like Google Jamboard, about Google Jamboard, Google Jamboard help, terms and conditions, private policy, send feedback to Google. And this is about about Jamboard. And this is the website which is available for you Google Jamboard. And here it says like uh, visualize your ideas in a new and collaborative way. Unleash your team creativity with Google Jamboard. Sketch your ideas whiteboard style while benefiting with from the access and connectivity of an interactive canvas on mobile or the right on your web browser. Drop and drop images and notes and pull assets. directly from the web while collaborating with team members from anywhere and you can you can you can uh, open and you can see what the buy jamboard and launch jamboard app and this buy option goes like and this is the jamboard option is just given for the 4k display which is said before and which is given for uh, given for the BenQ display. Collaborations beyond the digital whiteboard. A cloud a cloud based digital whiteboard center on enabling enabling a local and remote team to share ideas ideas efficiently. And this is the video which is given here. This is Jamboard. It's like a whiteboard, except it's way better. Because it lets this team Hi. and this team hey, up, work together. With this guy who lives in France. Bonjour. On the same thing at the same time. C'est fou. This is how you write and erase. But you can also do this and add some of these. And even turn this into this. And it's got all this other stuff. And so it's really easy to do this. Unless you're no Michelangelo. In which case you can do this. That's because it's part of G Suite. So you can pull in anything from any of these. Hey guys, I had this room reserved. And this is how you save your work. It saves automatically. Oh, right. It's in the cloud. This is how you pick up where you left off. This is how you share your work. Got it. So you never have to do this. Or write this. So you can do more of this. This is Jamboard. A new way to collaborate from Google. 
this is the Google Jamboard. This is how Google Jamboard works. As it's a part of G Suite, uh, you can easily attach the Google Google Suite, uh, Google uh, Files like Google Chrome, Google, uh, Google Slides, Google Doc, Google Sheet, etc. And coming back to the topic, and this is how Jamboard is, and this is the website which is provided by Google to explain what is Jamboard and etc. And this is how Jamboard works. Create, collab, create, collab, and bring your uh, team ideas to your life. Uh, Jamboard unlocks your team's creativity potential with real-time co-authoring co experience, unhindering productivity, where your team is in the same room using multiple Jamboard across the world using the Jamboard app on mobile. And this is the canvas. This is the canvas to rethought. Uh, to rethought. For the cloud, with uh, Jamboard incredibly responsive, uh, responsive and accurate display, it can naturally draw and sketch your sketch the way you would traditionally do in a whiteboard, uh, enriching your brainstorm with the uh, best best Google uh, search and your go and your teamwork in Google Space, Google Workspace. Grab your images contents from the Google from the web and bring to bring straight to your Jam, and pull work from Jam sheets, slides, and even photos stored in Drive. Design and position and ease. Uh, Jamboard standing 55-inch 4K display shines as the focal point uh, for creativity, creativity in the workspace. It's easy to move, uh, easy to move around the Office, which is uh, which is it is a multi-purpose portable stand, which is uh, fixed in the cape, is kept in the cable setup. This is Jamboard, uh, Jamboard, and which is the BenQ brand Jamboard. Uh, you will never you never have to worry about the running out of ink, batteries, and passive stylus and eraser that you. That you are uh, don't, uh, that don't require to pad. And these are the basic questions which are asked by the users. Which is the first one is like, how many people can you use in Jamboard at once? Uh, Jamboard supports up to sixteen touch pens at one point in single device, and uh, entire team can join the same Jamboard from other Jamboard phones, uh, tablets, with the Jamboard app. How much the Jamboard cost? Uh, the Jamboard cost like $4,999 including one Jamboard display, two stylus, one eraser and one wall mount plus uh, $600 additional for annual management and free fee and support fee. And Google Workspace for education customers are eligible to purchase Jamboard at once management and support and free and fees payment of $600 there is no recurring annual fees uh, email jamboard.ca to contact your reseller what is jamboard specification view the jamboard specification for more you can see the jamboard specification uh, basically jamboard device specification is like you click over it And this is the Jamboard script and this is the Jamboard specification. And collaborative digital whiteboard built for cloud use. Uh, Jamboard takes the whiteboard to the cloud and delivering a collaborative experience designed to unlock your team's creativity in real time for from anywhere. Uh, it has a better creation, better collaboration, a better battery saving and sharing. Uh, initiative and easy to use, portable and quick, portable and quick setup, compromising, compromising design, design etc. Which is used to create creative drawing tools, clips, contents from the web using the Google search and images and contents from Google Drive or your smartphone. Collaboration, the project, the Jamboard. Uh, into uh, Hangouts, participate from your tablet or phone 
and work with multiple jamboard within beyond the walls of your company better saving and sharing all your works is saved in google drive and your jam is also retained there in interactivity so you can pick up the right where you left uh, left off and your ideas are not erased anyway uh initiative and easy to use moving and resizing object is natural just like that uh, on your phone and your tablet and stylus and eraser and work without uh, batteries and complications like setuping and pairing and pairing portable and quick and quick setup it is light stable on the wheels uh, with one single cable for power everything else is wireless so that you can plug in fit on it flip it on the on the uh, flip it on and start jamming right now right away uh, uncompromising design uh, custom design to meet the highest standards of fidelity and responsibility low latency touch uh, technology and develop a free like experience and this is the cutting edge hardware and software design specs for the today's the uh, jamboard it has a 50 55 inch ultra hd display which comes with the 120 hz touch screen rate uh, which has uh, hdmi 2.2 and usb type c and which has two uh, two usb 3.2 support and sp spdif audio output uh, wifi support 1 gigahertz ethernet google cast built in tilt support built in wide angle camera down firing speakers which is uh, down firing speakers means uh, like speakers which are placed in the down side uh, 16 simulation simulate simultaneous touch points hardware and shape recognition handwriting and shape recognition and dual point tip parallel stylus eraser microfiber cloth wall mount and rolling stand this is the features which is provided by the jamboard by default and coming back to the topic closing this and next you can see google jamboard and search option search option you can search for the google, uh, search for anything which is in the google site like example if i'm selecting like E S A N T L example. I can see I can see the file which is done before or uh, recently. Uh, if you want us more short options, I can see here which is like uh, owned by me, owned by anyone, and not owned by me. You can click and short here. So if you want to refresh it, you can refresh it and bring back the last one. and this is a shorting option open by me modified by me lost modified title and shorting by using title and can change the view to row view and grid view and mostly grid view is most useful one so i'm changing to grid view if you want to create a new jamboard just select upon the plus button over here and this is the layout of the layout or output layout of the google jamboard if you click upon the uh, you can see many options like google jamboard home uh, rename next next frame uh present to meeting more actions share to private account and this is the tool options you can see one by one and this is the jamboard home if you click on the jamboard home it just simply takes to the jamboard jamboard home jamboard home page without saving the file or project if 
if you want to save the file or project you need to if you just wanted to save the file file or project uh, or if you want to click up on the home home page but still you want to see the project in your home page you need to save it auto save uh, to do auto save you need to change the title like uh, i'm just changing the title for EAM, 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 for example and select ok and for example and if you click upon home button see you can see the for example i just delete this for example and this is the it's a for example and you can directly click over here and get into your example actually you can do you can use the another method to even do that uh by just uh come on i'll just delete this and so I create new one for example and for example if I'm not uh, I'm not changing the title but if I go click on the home page it just get vanishes uh, I can use the option like uh, just take the pen just keep a mark over here and just that's it in. and if I just go to the home page see you can see the jam over here because each and every if you do a just a single option by if you just uh, rename the file or just uh, use any any of the option which is given here it's behind uh, just scribble or just make a mark uh, it just easily just save auto saves and just goes home by saving and the next option is the title option and i'll rename the title uh, again for example and open it and after changing the changing the title you can just if you just click upon the jamboard home see you can see your jamboard jamboard uh, jamboard file here for example and then the next option is if you go in and you can you can see expand frame frame bar you can create frames you can create uh, its number of frames as much you want this is the number of frames it's like pages adding pages to your jamboard and the next option is presenting a meet send to the meet is option where you can uh, you can click upon click upon this option and uh, just present or slide show your slide show your present a slideshow this jamboard presentation uh, to the meet where you are and the next option is more options if you click upon more options you can see various number of various number of options like rename download as pdf save frame as image remove make a copy get help send feedback see uh, see version history uh, rename is the option where you can rename your uh, rename your uh, Jamboard name here, uh, and you can also do it here too. And the next option which is download of PDF is uh, downloading this Jamboard. Uh, if it contains three pages, you can download the three pages. 
as a PDF. Save frame as image. Save frame as image is the option, uh, which is like saving an option as JPEG, JPEG file, which is saving a single single page, uh, single single page separately. And the next option is remove. Uh, if you want to remove this frame, you can just click upon this, and this jam will be removed. And if you see, uh, the file the file is in trash. If, if for example, it will be deleted forever after thirty days. If you want is if you want the file is share contribute still make a copy of until it's permanently deleted to access the file uh, and take it in the trash out. And if you see that take out of trash, you just uh, stay here. If you go to the home screen, it just vanishes. It's uh, it's a program which is it is a program which is used to uh, remove the whole Jamboard. And next, it make a copy. Make a copy of single each Jam. Uh, get help. Send feedback to Google. See version history. If you click upon version history. You can see the each page, each page uh, versions of each page. It's like creating a date April twenty first, nine fifteen a.m. Uh, created by me, created by Aditya. It's me. And this April next page coming up on next page. Uh, it's April April twenty one, uh, five forty four a.m. And next the next page, April twenty one, five fifty four a.m. And this is the history versions of everything. And you can choose from the short and choose like all versions name version name the versions and i have never i have not given any names to the versions to the uh, to the frames so it just comes like a, a default name and coming back if you see the next option which is get help and uh, for each and every single options you can get Get help, and there there comes a dialog block dialog box. You can just close it. And popular and uh, this is the common questions which are raised, uh, which is like uh, create insert a uh, create insert an uh, edit or drawing. Share your own collaboration with Docs editors. Docs editors help. Uh, work with the links and bookmarks. Share documents with visitor visitors. Uh, insert and arrange shapes. Uh, diagrams uh, and text and if you if you want to want to see more questions such that you can just uh, click upon the browse all articles Just a minute. And coming back to the topic, uh, if you want to just uh, see more articles, you can just browse all articles. And these are the basic questions. And this is the Google Docs editor's help. And you can uh, just how can we help you? You can just describe your problem in the, in your Google editor. And you can see various options like various options where you have such problems. Get help with Doc editors. Whether it's from Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Form, uh, or in switching to the Docs from Microsoft Word, or switching from Excel Sheet to Excel uh, Google Google Sheet, switching to Slides from PowerPoint, or uh, how it's uh, how it's probably useful, which is like uh, how how Google Storage works, uh, or else uh, about your Google account and active uh, activities in some products. The next option is just given like even like this is just a help center in uh, which is provided by the Google suit. Uh, share a file from Google Drive. Use Google product as side by side. Work on Google Google Docs, uh, Google Sheets, and Google Slides offline. Uh, add a meeting notes to the uh, Google Calendar events. Uh, create, insert, and edit drawings. Draft emails from Google Docs. Manage your files in Google Spaces. Um, use Google Meet with uh, Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. Uh, files you can store in Google Drive. 
cannot open a file or folder work with uh, microsoft office files uh, next thing uh, restore and uh, delete and restore in google drive and this are the private policy and abusal codes uh, abusal codes um, like abuse program policies and uh, abuse program policies and enforcement request a review of violation report a violation if any violations are done with your with your jam board or something you can just report it here system requirement and browsers uh, export your data from google docs sheet slides and drive for and jam board uh, accessibility next thing accessibility access uh, accessibility for docs edi uh, docs editors uh, use a screen reader on your computer Use a Braille display with uh, docs editor. Present slides with captions. Type your voice. Make your uh, document presentation more accessible. These are the options which is given. Given over here. And and this is the news from news from Google Doc editors. Uh, new to Google Doc editors, check out your blogs. Uh, Google Apps. Google Doc Editor Services Status Use Google Docs Editors for Work and School uh, See a Service Description uh, Description uh, Description uh, Information on Google Products And this is how it works And then finally And then you can just describe your problem If I just uh, Jamboard, I'll just uh, click upon Jamboard Jamboard I can see uh I can see if I just click up on Jamboard I can see some results over here uh, various results over here like how how Google search work how doc editor works it's a general questions and it's like uh, control if you just uh, go open a PDF and just click up on control plus F uh, it's the algorithm how it works like if you control plus F fine and if you just find for Jamboard it just works like Jamboard the highlighted with Jamboard over here here so that you can just simply uh, simply just search here and uh, just find your problem we okay, coming back to the topic uh, and this is the help is over and here to the feedback if you have any queries over uh, any queries or doubts over here you can send uh, send feedback to uh, you can send uh, just send feedback to Google and you can also include your screenshot over here and you can just type here and send your problem and this is how it works and next coming coming to the topic share uh, private to me uh, this is the sharing option you just click it uh, you can just share to the people or if you want to get a link people or groups you can just click upon the mail id and you can just uh, send to them if you want to send to them you can just send to them and uh, if you just want to use it as a link and just copy the link copy the link and you can also change the sharing option here change the link sharing option click the get link uh, in the box and if you want to change the link uh, anyone with this link and you can change it to restricted Restricted is the people only you can add the people only uh, the people who are you who you are appointed can just open the link not everyone and I just keep it back a second and it is, there is a settings and disable for public public links and if you want to keep the option in the restricted mode some uh, and the link and click upon updating done just select share you can just share the link over public uh, you can just click upon these settings uh, editors can uh, editors can change permissions and share viewers and commentators can also uh, have the option to download print uh, print the copy print the copy and you can just simply close it simply close it and Coming back to the main topic, 
or you have various 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 options over here, 8 options over here and uh, you can just see the first option is pen, eraser, select, sticky notes, add image, circle, text box, laser and the pen is used to scribble is used to scribble, used to scribble a font like yes 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 and the next option is eraser you can just erase it erase it over here simply erase it, erase it over here uh, but the eraser is too small so that you can you need to just be some patient you need some patient to erase it and it's too bit laggy and yeah this is how this works and this is the select option you can just select it select uh, the text or font that you are typing uh, in pen option you can see an arrow so that you can select pen, marker, highlighter and brush this four, op four different options with four different sketching styles and you can see black, blue, green, white, yellow and red for example each color I will just mark for each pen in black color and marker in blue color and highlighter in green color the highlighter is bit thin, bit thick and brush in yellow color And this is how it works and this is how uh, each color works and the next option uh, select select option select option this is the pointer option where you can just select where you can select the text or font and this is app sticky notes uh, each thing has a basic shortcuts like uh, if you want to add a sticky note sticky note uh, this is a sticky note and you can change the colors too like a uh, green blue pink orange and none no color i'll add yellow color as default and click upon save and if you want to add more you can add uh, this 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 and extra no and uh, select green color or it's orange color and just click on save and I just cancel it and you can just add it to the background of the images such that it just becomes a four mode begin uh, and uh, after that and you can resize your sticky notes resize your sticky notes vertically horizontally you can move it you can make it small and uh, make it small simple easier and click upon select them Select is the cursor button which does really nothing different from the normal cursor and this is the mode where you can just switch from the each option that's the thing after seeing the sketch notes you can add images and if you want to add images you can just uh, by url the page the url of the image 
here you can also select your camera and image search you can directly search from here or uh, you can add from your google drive this is the google photo that you can add uh, now i'm just adding from google if you are, if i just want to add from google drive i can click here click here and just uh, click upon insert and this image is added wait i'll just show it in the next next one uh, if I just if I just want to remove this, I can just uh, click upon undo or control plus Z. Control plus Z. Control plus Z. Control plus Z. Ah, so I got vanished. I'll jump to the next uh, board, next jambo, uh, or else uh, basically next frame. Now just I'll just be selecting an image image uh select this image and click upon insert i can just resize it resize it using the select option and if i just uh, i just want to um, copy by url i can just uh, go here and just click upon apple apple And this simple apple I just click this image and right click and just copy link copy link address and come back here and just paste it control plus V or right click and paste it and some images find like we cannot find the image at this url please take the address uh, and typing errors sometimes it does not work properly that's the that's a major problem in google see it doesn't work And the next option using the Google message, you can directly search the image for. Like Apple. Apple. Apple images. Uh, by clicking the Apple images, I can just select it. Uh, select it from here. I'll just select a simple Apple and click upon Insert. And this is how it works. And this is how it works. And the next option is like uh, Google Drive apart from Google Google Photos. I don't have any photos over here. So this is the option uh, like inserting images. And coming back to the next option which is like laser. Laser option. And I'll just if I just want to don't want to uh, don't want this page I can just simply clear this frame clear this frame yeah it's been the frame is being deleted or uh, not deleted just vanished up clear mm, I'll go back to the frame one and this is a laser option if I click on the laser option I can just see I, I can just point my uh, it works like a laser jamboard option uh, jamboard laser option is just been tracking I just want to explain this yes as, uh, if I want to spell this as Y E Yes Yes And this is the extra note And this is the sticky note It acts as a laser, proper laser option And this is a good system provided by Google
and the next option text box uh, I will just come again back to the second slide and click upon the text box so, uh, I just want to write text uh, I just want to write this this is this this and example text if you want uh, want my change uh, change the style uh, change the style I can just uh, drag and drop it like this and if you want to change the style this is a normal text and if you want to display the text it's, it just become the bigger text and if you want this text as title it just size is just based on title subtitles normal caption and this is how it works title this is how it works and you can underline the uh, color the text like blue color yellow color and red color and green color and white color color as usual you can see nothing so i'm just adding this green color and just make it bigger and change it as uh, change this as normal normal i just drag this keep it as keep it in the center keep it in the center and this is how it works and you can also align this text as uh, centered uh, right side tilted etc and this jamboard is way more easy uh, far easy from every other uh, every other google google suit programs or softwares and see the next option which is like And seeing the next option, which is main option, which is uh, present to in a meeting. If you just click upon here, there is no upcoming meeting in a calendar. Present using a meeting code. And you can just click upon the link and try it. Uh, for that, you need to create a meet, Google Meet first. Uh, in order to create a Google Meet, or uh, you can uh, use two options like uh, Meet. You can just Meet. Uh, Google Meet. You can just go from here and select here Google Meet, or else you can use the same option as we done for the same Jambo, which is like uh, go to the right corner, go to the right corner, and just click upon uh, click upon the Google Apps. Scroll down in the page where you can find Google search, maps, YouTube, play, news, Gmail, meet, chat, Google contacts, drive, calendar, translate, photos, duos, shopping, Google finance, docs, sheets, slides, books, bloggers, hangouts, keep, jamboard, classroom, earth, collection, Art and Culture, Google Ads, Podcasts, Google One, Travel, Forms. Such that you can just click upon this uh, one, uh, one two, third row, second column, meet. And you can also create a meet using the, you can also create a meet using a uh, new meet or enter code link to join. You need uh, three options will be visible. The number one is uh, create a meeting for later, create an inst instant meeting, schedule a meeting in Google Calendar. Uh, if I just want, if you create a Google Meet in a calendar, so that it will be updated to your calendar, Google Calendar, and uh, it will be scheduled later. Uh, as you just saw here, if you just want to see. There is no upcoming meet in your calendar today. It will be updated uh, on that day. Uh, for example, I just do it. Create a meet. In calendar. 
see it just comes up on like this and I add the title XAMPAV example mm. Mm. Uh, this is the options like you can change the date and timings 20 I'll just set you the meeting for 23rd April to 20 April to 23rd April 10 am uh, I just want to uh, change it as see you can have the presets like 10 30 9 30 am to uh, you can just have one hour one hour meet so that uh, one hour or two and a half hours meet so I'll just change it to 10 am uh, 10 am it will be like a half an hour on meet and time zone time zone is you can change the time zone from I uh, Indian standard time to GMT plus 5 the I have 35 and a half hours so click ok and repeat all day do not repeat if you want to repeat daily uh, you can just repeat daily I just don't want to repeat so that I am just giving up on this uh, this is the event details that is given that are, uh, these are the event details that are given join with google meet <coughs> and you can copy the meet link over here and add location uh, timing notification description any description you want to add uh, so that you can uh, you can add guest permission modify event invite others see guest list and this uh, works and if you want to save it it will be saving and see it is it is being saved in your google calendar now go here just refresh go, go back to the jam board now just refresh your screen if you just uh, if you just refresh your screen you can see and present to the meeting And still uh, still there is no meeting because it is not scheduled now and this this is how it works and if I just want to uh, create an instant meet uh, I'll just create an instant meet for now I'll just create an instant meet And this is how the instant meet works. And if you want to invite others, you can just copy the link. Copy the link. Uh, copy uh, copy the link. The link co uh, copied meeting link. And if you can see, you can just click upon here. There's no upcoming meet. See, the it is already it is already pre-existed. It's getting ready. Uh, you are able to join in just a moment. And present the tab to the meeting. This is on call. Or you can use on call. This is the meeting link. I have just copied. Uh, that's it. It's ready to present. Present the meeting tab. Select it. We have other tabs. Windows. Uh, entire screen. Entire screen. I'm just presenting this tab. And just click upon share. And this is how it works. And if you just see here, if you just make uh, make any changes, any changes here, changes here, it will be visible to the Jamboard. Uh, it, it's quick. Uh, it's a bit laggy, but it's easy to use. And uh, this option is used. Breaches is done here. It's been uh, it's been saved. Or this is the select option. I will select and just click upon it. Click upon gender else and just click upon example. And this is how the Jamboard works basically. And you can just present your meet uh, present your slides uh, here so that it won't be corrupted. And this is how easily. Uh, the Jamboard works in uh, teaching professions and uh, collaborative works with uh, like group discussion and etc. Um, and the next option we are going to see about 
uh, I'll just go to the third slide, which is new slide, and click upon the option set background. I'll check the background. They have dots, lines, grids, negative grids or gray grids, blue background or black background, black background, or else if you want to just add your custom image you can just add your custom image over here by click upon the custom images and again you can just save the add the same option uh, for a different instance uh, instant uh, I'll just change it to classroom and I'll just close the meet and calendar too And this is the classroom image and I'll just set it as class background and this image would remain a uh, background so that uh, I can just type it uh, text box uh, I'll have sticky notes over here sticky notes uh, welcome Computer. Classroom. Click on save and just add it towards me. Add it towards here. This is how the background works and this background makes initiative to make a uh, classrooms classroom uh, to change the uh, to attract uh, attract the students just uh, using Jamboards uh, and this would be uh, useful for the teachers who are teaching in online purposes in online mode and the next thing you are going to see, uh, see is like zoom and this is zooming fit 56 percent 95 percent 10 percent 100 percent 200 percent and i'll just set to the default set to the default and we have the third option which is zoom and each and every zoom has alt uh alt Control Alt 1, 2, 3 to change the side. Control Alt 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is working. 3, 2, 1. And this is the basic thing. And I've just uh, brought there to the basic stuff. And this is how uh, the zooming option works. And the last option that we are going to see in options is just like download as PDF. If you go to these three dot in the right at right corner, you can see more action. If you click over it and select download as PDF. See this file is being is now uh, downloaded as PDF. If you click over it, and this becomes a PDF. PDF format. This becomes a PDF a PDF format. This is the easiest way uh, for a teaching staff for staff for teaching in an easier easier way and manner. And uh, the next option, which is like, which is uh, which is save this image as save this frame this frame as image. Click over it and frame three. And this frame, number 3 frame, will be saved as an image. This is for an image or JPEG purpose. That is a PDF format. According to me, uh, saving as PDF is way more better. And saving as a PDF is a better process. 
and uh, you can also make a, make a copy of it make a copy of it, copy document copy of an example and change it to my drive share it with the same people and go to my drive make a copy this diverts you to diverts you to the uh, copy so that you can see two options over here and this is how the Jamboard works thank you for watching